Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. So day 10 will take around the 12th of March. We'll be able to extend out beyond that. We extended GFS Ensembles. We have not got the ECM Ensembles yet again today, unfortunately. We have got the GFS Ensembles though, so have a look at uh, those. And I've got CFSB2 uh, for the next four weeks, which will take us to the end of March. So I should get on that for you uh, very shortly. Just to say that the first video release today was the ECM WF38. Okay, for UK and the rest of Europe. Check that one out if you would uh, like to do that. Terry Scholes' uh, March and Spring Forecast was released as a video yesterday. So something new uh, we're trying out. Have a look at that and see uh, what you think. If you are new to our channel, please can you uh, give us a uh, give us a sub? Please can you subscribe? Uh, if you are not new to the channel but you are sub, then tell your friends, family, everybody else to subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, everybody for doing that. Uh, give us a like on the video and uh, drop a comment and let us know uh, what you think. Thank you so much uh, for doing that. Right, going to start off Central England temperature just to confirm what we said uh, yesterday. So the uh, CT uh, for February came in at five point one which was an anomaly of uh, 1.4 degrees uh, above average, so quite a mild February in the end. Uh, that follows a cold of an average January at 3.1. That uh, had an, an anomaly of uh, 0.7 of a degree below average. And uh, for March, provisional to the first day, just the first day of the month, we stand at 4.0. That's around half a degree below average. Of course, we will monitor what happens with March over the next four weeks. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. Let's go. We're at Solihull in the West Midlands today. So red lines are 30 year upper air temperature average for Solihull. We're starting off mild of an average at the moment in terms of the upper air temperatures, but we have got a lot of cloud. And uh, where it's cloudy, misty, murky, then the temperature on the surface is quite chilly. Otherwise, in the sunshine, particularly in the northern west, then uh, it actually feels quite pleasant and mild. Now, by the end of the week, we're all going to be going cold of an average as the temperatures, uh, upper air temperatures drop. And so it'll be pretty cold at the end of the week into the weekend. There will be some quite significant overnight frost. And then through the weekend and into next week, it looks like it's going to be pretty cold, uh, really, with the uh, with the upper air temperatures generally uh, slightly below average, going into a cold zonal spell. Possibly a little bit milder as we go through into the middle and the second half of uh, March. Precipitation-wise, going to be a lot of dry weather over the next uh, week or so. Next week, though, looking a lot more unsettled. And, of course, as it's going to be quite chilly next week, there is a little bit of wintry potential uh, as well next week. Um, so, so low pressure will take more of a southerly trap through the course of next week. And uh, certainly on the northern side of those low pressures, there might, might be some snow. Uh, today's ECM midnight run, which I'm going to show you in a moment, is producing a significant snow event around day 8 to 9. More about that later on in videos. It's certainly raising some eyebrows. Temperature in Dublin. So on the 2nd to the 10th of March. It's going to be a little bit cold now, not just the UK, but for most parts of Western Europe. Precipitation anomalies from the 2nd to 10th of March are going to be on the drier than average side. Here's the latest uh, UK Met Office forecast chart for Friday. So uh, high pressure dominating over and to the north of the country on Friday. And we're pulling in quite a cold easterly wind. That will bring some wintry showers potentially onto the eastern coast on Friday. By Saturday, we're under the big ridge of high pressure. So no problems with uh, wintry showers then. But it will be cold. There'll be some uh, quite significant overnight frost uh, into the open weekend uh, anyway. By day, not feeling too bad in the March sunshine. Uh, later in the weekend, the high pressure will begin to uh, weaken. Low pressure will start to move in from the Atlantic. That will bring some cloud and outbreaks of rain. So uh, by 144 hours, midnight on Monday, the 8th of March, just going more and settle then with some uh, showery rain coming in from off the Atlantic Ocean. Temperatures will start to get milder as well in the north and the west. This is how the GFS 6 set is looking. So again, on Friday, high pressure will be over and to the north country winds will be coming in from quite a cold east or north east direction. Could bring a few wintry showers onto the eastern coast at the end of the week. By the weekend, the high pressure sat over the top of the country. So it's going to be mainly dry, but it will be cold by night. Not too bad by day. Into the early part of next week, the ridge begins to weaken. Low pressure uh, rattling in from off the Atlantic by middle of next week, bringing gale force winds and uh, bouts of heavy rain uh, as well. 
And as Jesse starts to move south, as the black light course is projecting, as the Jesse moves south, as we will pull in some colder air off Greenland uh, as well. So, so not only wet and windy through next week, but also the risk of some snow, particularly so for northern parts of the country on, on what we call a cold zonal, westerly cold zonality. Into the XA range beyond day 10, uh, we draw up some milder air from the southwest with a ridge of high pressure down towards uh, Spain and Portugal. Low pressure is up to the northwest again. Up comes those uh, milder uh, west southwesterlies. Uh, into the middle and second half of March. Again, just a suggestion we keep westerly flow going. High pressure to our southwest should bring brings amount of dry over to the southwest. Always more south to the north. Uh, looks like this might have a go at reaching northwards um, beyond uh, the 18th of March as far as we go. We might pull down to northerly, but we'd have to wait and see about that. GM, again, high pressure dominates on Friday. Quite a cold east north easterly wind could bring some wintry showers onto the eastern coast at the end of the week. Into the weekend, the high pressure continues to keep it mainly dry from the Wales, but Scotland and Northern Ireland will turn less cold or milder with some showery rain coming in from the west. And as we go into next week, again, increasingly unsettled signals, low pressure breaking down that ridge, turning us wet and windy. Deep low pressure here by the middle of next week to the north of Scotland. That could be a named storm, um, bringing severe gales to the northern half of the country. And the GM is suggesting that there's like secondary areas of low pressure that, that could uh, run into that cold northwesterly flow. So there's some sort of feature just there. There's another one around the jet stream just here. You know, we bring the air out to green. So it, it is quite cold um, and unsettling. If one of these secondary areas of low pressure runs into that cold air, then that's where some wintry potential could uh, come in. And that's exactly what happens with tonight, with today's uh, ECM midnight run. So uh, this is how the ECM is on the Friday. High pressure is over to the north. Country winds are in from a northeast direction. It'll be mainly dry, but there could be some wintry showers on the east coast, and it will be quite cold. Into the weekend, the high pressure slipping south and eastwards, becoming less cold in the north and west. Probably still quite cold by night, further southwards and eastwards. And then next week, the low pressure pushes in off the Atlantic, bringing spells of rain uh, with it, and, uh, and the air begins to dig in from Greenland, so it will be going colder as well through the course of next week. That was quite cold and unsettled on Wednesday. It's a midnight Wednesday. Low pressure is pushing through the country. Heavy rain in the south could turn to snow on the uh, northern edge of the low pressure. And uh, again, the wind is coming out of Greenland. Or the air is coming out of Greenland, so it is quite cold. Secondary area of low pressure just there along the jet stream, you will notice. We are on the cold side of the jet at this point, by the way. Secondary area of low pressure on the jet stream then moves it across England and Wales by midnight on the 11th of March, Thursday 11th. And as that pushes into the cold air, the GFS, uh, the ECM at midnight run does turn a lot of precipitation on that low to snow. You'll see it in a moment. Uh, by the time you through to day 10, which is the 12th of March, that lower zip through, it's over into such parts of Europe, and uh, we're into a cold northwesterly wind with wintry showers coming in from the north and from the west too. Let's have a look at the all-important precipitation type forecast then, based on that ECM run. You can see a lot of dry weather, of course, over the next few days with high pressure dominating. Although, although there will be some showery rain around tomorrow, uh, later tomorrow and into Thursday across the south, but most places are going to be dry up to uh, the weekend. And then as we move on into uh, next week, we start to see weather turning more unsettled. A uh, batch of uh, rain moving in off the Atlantic around Monday. Could turn up to snow uh, in the north as it bumps into the cold air. And just increasing unsettlement through the course of next week. Middle of next week, really wet across England and Wales. This is uh, midnight on Wednesday, 10th of March, uh, week tomorrow. Uh, so, so very, very wet across England and Wales. Turning to snow on the northern side of the low. Um, up across Scotland. And then that next secondary low comes in uh, from Wednesday to Thursday. This is 6am on uh, on Thursday next week. Look at this. Big stir there through Wales and the Midlands. Also into parts of East Anglia, South East England. When the yellow colours turn up, that is properly heavily, heavy snow. Real, really would be a proper covering of snow across many parts of England and Wales with that. Rain further south and southwest. The only caveat is that it's like nine days away, so it almost certainly won't verify, or, or if it does, it's not exactly like that. But, but, you know, it's the idea that we are bringing in like a cold zonal flow next week, and the potential 
is there for, for some of that to, uh, you know, some precipitation to turn to snow if we get a secondary low engaging with those colder winds from the north. Eventually, all of the snow pushes away through the course of the 11th of March, and we go into, like, wintry showers on a northwest wind uh, by time it through to day 10. Now, we cannot show you the, uh, unfortunately, we can't show you the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 because they're not updating up the ice Met office. I don't know if they've gone forever or if it's just something temporary, but they haven't updated for the last few days, unfortunately. So, I'll move on to CFSV2. These are 500 millibar heights broken down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 2nd through to the 8th of March. The coming week will be dominated by high pressure. And, of course, it will get quite cold by the end of the week and into the weekend. All change to week 2. This is the 9th through to the 15th of March. Cold and unsettled. Low pressure plunging in from the north. High pressure slipping southwards. The uh, wind direction is going northwest southeast, as is the jet stream alignment. Place on the cold side of the jet, so under this trough of low pressure, it will be unsettled. And with the air coming out of Greenland into west of Europe, uh, there is a risk of wintry potential uh, with that unsettled weather. Week three is going to take us from the 16th to 22nd of March. All change again, heights rising once more to our south and east. Low pressure again pushed away to the northwest, and that sends the jet stream back northwards again, so becoming drier and milder very quickly into the third week of uh, March. And then uh, week four, into the last week of March, 23rd, 29th of March, high pressure ridges up from the south into the UK and Ireland, low pressure up towards Greenland, Iceland, jet streams push northwards as well, will be turning increasingly mild, probably very spring-like, and uh, a lot of dry weather on offer with that as well. So spring in the second half of March, but the second week of March is cold and unsettled. If you enjoyed this video, please can you smash the like button. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. You'll be able to see future weather content if you do that. Don't forget to tell your friends, family, everybody else who subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Thank you so much for doing that. Right, that's it then uh, for today's bits. Tomorrow, we're going to have a USA broadcast. If it's not live streaming anymore, on a Wednesday, we'll have a upload for the 10 to 14 day uh, video. And uh, yes, yeah, so, so more of this coming up to coming up tomorrow but for today's uh, videos that's all for now and thanks for watching